What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel, The Auto Shop Life. So, today's finally the day. We're gonna get, uh, get this screwdriver drawer taken care of. I know you guys have been following the channel, you guys have been waiting on this one. Finally, uh, finally got some time, finally gonna get this thing done. Uh, before we do, we're gonna talk about one of my favorite ways to organize these drawers. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. All right, guys, so you guys have been following the channel for a while. You know I'm big on toolbox organization. You know, you know, half the battle getting these jobs done is looking for the right tool. You know, you guys have seen some of my other videos, the socket organization. Um, I want to say last year we did the wrench organization with the toolbox widget. One of my favorite ways to, you know, take care of these drawers is this module system. Great company, you know, great way, innovative stuff, great way to organize your toolbox. You know, I, I, I can't say more of this stuff. We did the wrench drawer probably a year ago. I'll put the link up above, but uh, haven't looked back since. I mean, it's, you know, taking care of the wrench drawer. What I like about it is, you know, over the months, obviously I get new wrenches. You grow more, you know, get more sets of wrenches. And what I like about these is their module. You could, you know, switch and move them the way you want them. You could add to them. You could take away sets. You know, obviously, if you're not using a wrench anymore or you upgrade a set, you know, and the set's not as big as it once was, you could kind of cut them back to 14, to 10, to 9, 8 in a set, 9 in a set, you know, make room, crunch everything together so you could, you know, utilize those drawers as much as you possibly can because not everybody, you know, needs a huge toolbox like this. You try to work with what you got, and this is a great way to, you know, utilize your space and make the best of the room you got um but he's got a version two now for the wrench organization we'll dive down i'll show you guys some of the comparisons i don't know if you guys caught it on the live stream but we'll talk about some of that stuff he's also got now came out with the uh the angled wrenches for some of the larger wrenches i mean it's uh you know anything over like a 25 26 millimeter wrench they stand kind of high so you know those two inch drawers or inch drawers or whatever you're using for your wrenches you know, I, I would think a four inch drawer would be all right, but what's nice about the angle, you know, it kicks them back a little bit to where they don't hit the top of the next drawer. You know, you could actually close the drawer and still be able to see the size. And what's great about them is you could, they're module and you could link them right to the, the vertical ones. So we'll talk about that, dive down, show you guys those. And then the one we're gonna be spending time at the end of the video, we're gonna get the screwdriver drawer done right. It says screwdriver on the box, but you guys can use these things for anything. You know, I, I got them for use for my extensions, some of the long torque sticks, the picks, chisels, you guys, I mean, you name it, use your imagination. These things will organize anything you could fit in them, which is great. That's what I like about them. So we're gonna talk about the sizes. I got some of the sizes here. We'll show you guys snapping on the size labels. Check it out. All right, guys. So let's dive down. We'll show you guys the first one. This is the version two the uh, vertical wrenches. This one holds 10, um, before it held 14, but you know, 10's pretty much a standard, you know, eight through 19 wrenches. Um, we're gonna compare this to the version one. I got a section of version one here. Get this box cracked open, show you guys what comes into the box. Nice compact design here. Comes with a sticker. That's the box. See all the features and all that stuff. You got just an ATV picture before and after on the back of this thing and then the front of it. But this is what they are. And what's nice about them is, you know, you could arrange anything from one to 10, you know, or from one to, you know, an endless number. All right, guys, but getting to what comes in the box, you got, uh, you know, two rows of five here. What I like about them too is, uh, you know, you got your, you could go all the way down from one to two. So any, you know, you could, you're able to make any possibility. If you need three, you could just add one. You need four, you could just add another one. Then five, six, add another two. So, you know, no matter what you're using or how intricate your wrenches are, or what you're using these things for, you know, it'll have a spot for each one of your tools. Um, but compare it to, uh, this is version one. You could see there's, they were slightly taller. Um, probably a little more malleable. These are definitely more rigid, which is pretty nice. I kind of like that. Um, the big one is the bottom here. Uh, that's the big change here. You could obviously see the difference in the magnet size. I believe version one was uh, you know, a five pound magnetic pull. And then this one with obviously clearly the bigger magnet and having a steel base, it's now a seven pound pull. 
So, you know, a little bit stronger magnet now. You could definitely even tell the difference just lifting up on it, even with the Rhino line top. And then the big difference on these, you know, they got the steel plate embedded in there. Um, you know, before it was just a glued in magnet, kind of, you know, they pop out, you'd have to re glue them in. And I've had a few pop out on me, it had to glue back in. But now he, you know, changes his eye on that. It's a little bit better design now. He's got like a little retainer housing for it. Um, you know, this piece pops out, there's a little metal plate underneath there. You know, that obviously having a steel plate like that with a magnet on it, it makes the magnet even stronger, you know, and then it's got a little plastic retainer clip in here and then a little housing where it would sit. So here's a little housing, drop it back in it. Anytime if these are, you know, if these ever pop apart on you guys, you guys get these things, you know, it's as simple as just popping it back in there. You can see the little grooves on there where they fit in here and then just pop the piece back in there. Good as new. So that's the version one, you know, compared to the version two, um, still got the bright orange missing tool indicator. You can see it's a lot brighter now. It obviously matches the front of the box, but you can see the difference in colors there. You know, this one's obviously brighter. Um, great feature on that. I mean, I, I probably use that every day. That's what I look for when I'm opening my wrench drawer. You know, I look for that bright orange to know if I'm missing a wrench. You know, sometimes when they're stacked up, you can't always tell, you know, but uh, having that bright orange on there is definitely a easy way to tell you're missing a tool. Got to get one back in there. Um, real quick, jumping into the, uh, the size labels. Like I said, he doesn't have all the size, size labels yet, but it should kind of show you, get this open, show you guys what these things look like. That's pretty much what they look like. These are available on the website. You got a package of standard there. Open up a package of uh, metric here. You can see, here's the metric ones. And then basically with these, you know, these are going to work with version one and version two, but you could see the top cutout groove there. These just kind of snap into place. You know, it's got a little tongue and groove on there and that's how it fits in there. Real nice. Like you could kind of, you get them all lined up, you know, in a row, get all your sizes down in there. And like I said, he's coming out with more sizes slowly, but surely, uh, like I said, most of the sizes are here. You know, he's got pretty much eight, 10, you know, most of the popular sizes, but you know, that's what she ends up looking like all filled in. It's got the nice gray on there. So it breaks up the colors. You could see it better. You know, it's not one color blacked where you can't see it if you're, you know, your box is in a darker area of the shop, but you know, the bright orange, and then you got the, the gray that stands out. You can see the sizes on there. So pretty cool. All right, guys. And then getting into the angled ones, you can see the box is a lot longer. You know, these things hold up to uh, 10 also, but you know, they're angled. So obviously it's going to take up a little more space, but it does lay those bigger wrenches down a bit to where you could close those drawers and you know, you ain't got to worry about fitment issues. Every box comes with a cool logo sticker, a decal, and then the same with these. You can see you got the bright orange missing tool indicator. You know, they come in one to twos. So, you know, you could go all the way from one wrench all the way up. Um, what's also nice about these, they got the angle to vertical adapter here. So what's nice about this is, you know, the back side's got your bigger wrenches and then the front side of the drawer's got your smaller wrench set. You pretty much take the angle, slide it on there like so. And then you could carry on with the verticals, slide the verticals in and continue on the row. So you'll have, you know, the smaller sizes as you start to get to the bigger sizes towards the back here. He will be coming out with the sizes for the bigger wrenches also, probably along the same time he comes out with these. Who knows? Like I said, everything's coming, guys. This stuff's slowly but surely hitting the market. You know, he's not rushing these products. He's definitely getting text feedback, seeing the way things are going. You know, no point in making product that no one's going to use or no one's going to need. Slowly but surely bringing this stuff out, you know. That's one of the great things about it. Customer feedback, you know, his support on there, the website and all that stuff. You know, he's a great guy, great product. You could tell, you know, the way these products are made, it's not just one stamped out product. You know, there's multiple pieces here, different pieces. You got the magnet, you got the metal tray in there. You know, it's, it's, it, it takes time to make these and uh, you, you could definitely tell in the quality, the fit and finish of them. They're definitely nice compared to some of the other organized, you know, at least wrench organizers out there on the market. All right, so talked about the version two wrenches, talked about the angled, talked about some of the size labels, what's up and coming on there. Um, you know, the big, bigger size labels on the angled ones are coming out shortly, but here's the ones we work with today on the drawer. Um, the nice one about this one, it's cool, every box comes with a sticker, but the nice one about this one is, you know, every screwdriver handle is different. You know, screwdrivers has bigger handles, smaller handles and all that stuff. And what's nice about these is, 
It comes with the spacers. So you got the screwdrivers with the bigger handle, you know, um, you know obviously line these, lining these things up if the handle doesn't fit. You could put the spacers in. Um, you could even put, you know, two spacers in if it's a real big handle or, you know, if it's not a screwdriver at all, maybe something with a chisel, a big chisel handle or something like that. Throw a couple spacers in there and then you could carry on with the rest of the sizes. However, uh, these come with, hold eight screwdrivers. Um, and then you also have eight spacers. So however, however you work it, you know, it could be, you know, the, the organizer, spacer, organizer, spacer, organizer. Some of them on the picks, I'm guessing with the drawer, if I don't need to use the spacer, I'm probably not gonna use the spacer, just use it like that. Uh, throwing a couple pictures up on Instagram, kind of how these things work and, you know, what they're good for, some of the uses for them. But uh, we'll, see what it, we'll see what it turns out looking like. So let's get this drawer opened up, show you guys some before on it, and get right at it. See, what we, see how much space we save. All right, guys, so let's get to it. There's the screwdriver drawer. And like I said, I'm using the, you know, the blow molded trays or whatever. But as you can see, you know, there's absolutely no more room left in this drawer. You know, granted, it is a, you know, one and a half inch drawer or whatever. It's not a super tall, tall drawer. You know, I, I'm, like I said in my other video, I snap on made these drawers for certain things. I, this is the screwdriver drawer. You know, everybody knows sockets, sockets up top, then wrenches, then screwdrivers. You know, at least that's how I organize my stuff. But there is no room at all left for this drawer. I do have other screwdrivers I would like to put in here. You know, maybe not the red instinct handles like this, but, you know, I, I'd like to have a drawer with all my screwdrivers in. So we're going to see what these widgets can do. If we could open up some space for me. Let's get to it. So now I got the wrench drawer with all the toolbox widgets. This one definitely saved me some space. I was able to grow. Got this one filled up, looking nice. 
I still adjust it every now and again. You can see some of the size labels in here. Looking nice. Wait to fill that in. And now I got the screwdriver drawer. So you can see the footprint these blow molded cases took up. You know, took up, you know, it's a lot of, a lot of wasted space there. You figure all oh, the cavities. When cubic feet is an issue, you know, you're trying to get every square cubic inch you can. You know, those blow molded cases, you know, it's a nice, it's a nice way to keep them where they need to be, but you know, it definitely takes up space that you could utilize and use for organization. So I'm gonna wrap this one up, guys. You guys out there looking to get your toolbox widgets, links will be down in the description. Also, I'll be putting in a 10% off coupon. Use coupon code JRC54. Save yourself 10% on any box order. Um, check out their website. They got the size labels on there. They got the verticals. They got the angles. They got way more coming. Um, you know, these guys are advancing every day. You know, their customer support is, you know, bar none, some of the best customer support I've ever seen um, in a company. You know, he's one on one. He listens to the text. Like I said, I can't stress that enough. Great guy. Great, you know, great guy. Great person to work with. Um, you guys know we also worked with him as far as tool heads go. You know, you guys don't know what tool heads crate is. Link will be down in the description. A monthly crate subscription for, you know, tool heads and tool heads alike. But, uh, Toolbox widget, guys. You've seen what it did. Space saved me a bunch of space on the screwdriver drawer. You know, I could grow more, put more screwdrivers. I got screwdrivers in this other box that I could probably transition over and then utilize the drawers the way I want to. But great way of organizing the toolbox. Show you guys the module screwdriver organizer. Definitely, definitely saved me some space. So, like I said, links will be down in the description. Use coupon code JRC54, 10% off. As always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Signing out.